Okay, um, hello, I'm Hannah Fry um, and I am teaching the Quantitative Methods course Exploring Complexity, which is one of the core modules in the first year. Now, a few people have asked me questions about um, how are we going to teach a whole range of disciplines in together and also people um, you know, with a range of backgrounds, some with maths A level and some without. And I think um, the way that we're going to approach this is to avoid making the course too, techni too technique based and too methods based. I think um, traditionally quantitative methods courses have really focused on how to um, run through different methods and are quite formal really. And I think what we want to do with this course is put that to one side because although those techniques are really important, what they don't do is um, show you how to actually apply these methods when it comes to solving real world problems. And in that sense, both people who've studied mathematics or people who've studied arts or sciences are all in the same boat. Um, so I'm talking here about questions like if, you, um, if the temperature of the ocean was raised by one degree, what, would that, what effect would that have on the sea level? Or um, how could you design some kind of system to um, make sure that sentences were grammatically correct? These are kind of all questions that are interesting and engaging and are crying out to be solved with kind of mathematical and te uh, quantitative techniques but aren't um, from the off don't look like mathematical questions um, so what um, I'm not talking here about questions which um, where you think of a problem in maths and then shoehorn it into something as a real world application like um, there's a farmer with a field which um, the perimeter is three times the area. I'm talking about prob real world problems that people are going to experience in all of their different disciplines that are really interesting and engaging um, and then try and look at how we can use stuff that we know, quantitative um, methods that we know to solve these problems. So in this course I want to teach you how to um, think algorithmically, how to look at something in the world and to abstract what's important from it and then use the techniques that I'm going to show you to, um, to gain some insight and understanding.